Kersen Sensor Mag 4.5x 30mm Camera Sensor Magnifier Cleaning Lup or Dust Blaster Air Blast Cleaning Tool or Sensor Cleaning Kit. Includes Carson Sensor Mag 4.5x 30mm Camera Sensor Magnifier and Dust Blaster Air Blast Cleaning Tool Sensor Mag Fits most cameras Vertical Bracket 4.5x 30mm Lens Makes Spotting Dust and Debris on Sensor Easy Vertical Bracket 6 Super Bright LED Lights Dust Blaster Easily Blows Away Dust and Debris from Camera Sensors Cleanses Filters and More Special Dust Blocking Tip Prevents the intake of dust Vertical Bracket Included with a Zippered Pouch to store the sensor mag backed by Carson's limited lifetime warranty. Tired of sending your camera into the manufacturer to have the sensor cleaned? Not only is it inconvenient, but it can also become very costly. Camera sensors and lenses are expensive and fragile, and should be cleaned with great care. The sensor cleaning kit from Carson includes the Sensor Mag 4.5x 30mm camera sensor magnifier and the Dust Blaster Air Blast cleaning tool. The Sensor Mag will help you clean any dust and debris on your camera sensor helping you to eliminate the need to digitally correct pictures. The 4.5x power sensor mag rests comfortably inside the camera lens hole, and has an adjustable focus for different size cameras and sensor depths. The 6 bright white LEDs in the base of the sensor mag light your way to a clean sensor. This hands-free lamp allows you to magnify, and aids you in cleaning the sensor. There are two different diameter settings, to fit most camera bodies. The sensor mag is unique in the fact, that the lens can rotate 45 degrees out of the way which helps you to gain better access to the sensor, while still being able to use the LED lights. It leaves room for a small tool, or cleaning brush to be used, while looking through the lens of the sensor. It is small enough to carry in your camera bag, and comes included with a zippered pouch and two CR2032 button cell batteries. The air from the dust blaster will effectively clean your sensor and lenses without contact preventing any damage. The patent pending dust block tip adds an additional valve that prevents dust from being pulled inside the blower. Only ambient air is pulled inside the blower. The dust blaster provides 15% more air volume capacity than the leading competitor. The dust blaster is made of silicone rubber, so it won't degrade like natural rubber and potentially shoot out rubber particles onto your camera sensor and lenses. It includes a strap belt clip that attaches to a camera bag strap or backpack for convenience and portability. At Carson we strive to make sure our customers are 100% satisfied with the quality of our products. We are so confident in our products, that we back them with a limited lifetime warranty. Carson will repair or replace your Carson item, if it is found to have manufacturing defects in materials or workmanship. Please contact Carson for additional warranty details. For a Sony A6000 A7 series mirror or less to effectively use this, you need to screw the inspection lens all the way out of its body to achieve focus, unless you hold your head well above the lens, and look from a distance. It is designed more for DSLR cameras, where the sensor is deeper within the body once in focus though the view is sharp and one can easily see any dust on the sensor. I was going to return IDC, but upon discovering its usefulness, after removing the lens from the basic for the money it seemed worthwhile to keep. To use it in my cassock I hold the base portion with the LEDs, illuminated on the camera body with one hand can the inspection lens, after it is removed from the base, with the other. This actually makes it easier to adjust focus, and move about to look at the sensor. It is definitely not a pro-level sensor inspection debisec, but then again it doesn't cost as much as one either. And the included case is a nice touch, so you can keep it in your camera back, to have in the field. If you are a DSLR owner I would expect, that this would work without removing the inspection lens from the basic, but you would probably have to screw it upward nearly all the way, to achieve a decent focus with your eye up to the lens, the way one uses a photographer's lup.